I'm gay, so as a gay man going, going to Samoa to do the research there, um, you know, in scientific lingo, we would refer to me as an androphilic male. So I'm a male who's sexually attracted to adult males. So you can go anywhere in the world and find other androphilic males. There are androphilic males in Samoa. And this is sort of getting there are some at... some even here on the stage. There are some on the stage. There are, I think there are... There's, there's two by my count. <clears throat> so uh, this is sort of getting at your whole point of how important is socialization. I think that the, 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 the sexual attraction and the sexual arousal, that's biological, but then it's elaborated on culturally. So for example, I can go, uh, I can go to Samoa and there are androphilic males there, and, but there are, no, there are no gay men, none whatsoever. Uh, and and you, can, you can talk to these androphilic males who uh, in Samoa they're called fafafine, which means in the manner of a woman. And so they, they, they present publicly, typically in a very feminine manner. They'd be what in this culture we'd refer to as effeminate males or in many cases even transgendered males. And they're exclusively sexually attracted to masculine males pretty much just like all androphilic males are attracted to masculinity, masculine males, for the most part. But they don't self-identify as gay, so that identity part is socialized. When, when, they, were, when they were growing up, uh, gay was not an identity category that they could draw upon to construct who they are. Just like when I was growing up, I didn't say, Mom, Dad, sit down, I have something very important to tell you. I'm a fafafine, <laughs> because it wasn't an identity category that I could draw upon. Right. So there's, there's, there's biological predispositions, but they're elaborated on culturally, and those cultural elaborations have all sorts of um, implications in terms of how you self-present in public, what others expect from you. Uh, in, here, in this culture, I'm, I'm expected to behave in a masculine manner. In most places, it's demanded of you. In Samoa, uh, that's not the case. You're expected to be feminine, and you're expected to have certain roles within the family, certain obligations in terms of taking care of your nieces and nephews. So biology and culture are both important. 